video on the uh, direct wire outdoor smart switch by GE that I just installed for my spa and what it does is it allows you to enable these uh, interface to a home automation via a Z-Wave controller so this is just the switch the controllers on the other side of here you can switch it off or you can actually do a manual on and the manual on is uh, enabled by pressing this button right here and you can see that this all this does is punch through to this switch right here so I do like the manual on feature so what happens is the line side and the load side are connected this is a 220 volt uh, 240 volt US application where I'm taking the breakers from the house, line one and line two, the spa sub panel, and wiring them to the load side, which is gonna is goes directly to the spa. And so you just bring in the ground wire and connect it there. And this is in the instruction manual a, a required jumper. The distance from here to the spa is to the controller is approximately 150 feet right now. However, it is possible to run other devices such as these here, which are smart switch devices. Here I'm operating lights on the for this switch and this switch is used as a repeater I have another repeater also over over here in that corner of the yard which is closer to the controller that is also acting as a repeater on the Z-Wave network also I have rigged some home automation and these are portable buttons that run off lithium batteries that last a very long time. And you can use these buttons for short press, um, two short presses or a long press, and actually cause this timer right here to turn on the spa. Also, I have rigged home automation where I kick the spa into action at certain times, say 4 a.m. So I don't need to use this timer. I have an automatic timer every day that, th that the spa goes on at about 4 a.m. So the reason why I go on at 4 a.m. is I'm using solar panels on my roof so I have time of use discounts at off hours. I have also, in my wiring, I have also have a box here that I have the option of running other equipment here. I just bought a low cost box on, on uh, Amazon, it's a sprinkler controller box where I could put low voltage wire in here, 12 volt wire, and run lights, however, I have coordinated this spa timer when you press the spa timer these lights automatically kick so off. So here's the component setup that I think you're going to need. You need of course the uh, smart switch, the GE smart switch that goes to 40 amps and then I th recommend probably getting at least one of these Z-Wave plug-in devices that you can run that act as repeaters just in case you're going to have problems with uh, the the uh, coverage for, from the Z-Wave uh, controller. Now, what I ended up getting was a Z-Wave uh, stick because I'm using Home Assistant. You could get a hub instead of the stick. And then what I did was I have a home automation server, but you could do a cloud server. I just plug this stick into this PC here, and that's my home automation server. 
that I um, use uh, Home Assistant in this case. So I apologize for the video quality, but uh, I'm just using my iPhone. I just wanted to document the project and appreciate it if you would hit um, like and just give me motivation for doing more videos like this. So here's the panel and we have ground L1 and L2 running to the GE Z-Wave switch. Now that switch there uh, is connected to the SPA. That's what powers on the SPA. So you just power on the SPA or power off the SPA using this switch in your home automation. So the only thing to my SPA is um, running L1 and L2 that runs from the switch. And of course we run the ground there too. So it's mandatory to have a Z-Wave hub with this and you might consider this in you know it, it not a good feature but I think they've spent a lot of good thought a lot of thought in this and I think it's a good idea to go ahead and um, have the hub with 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 this setup versus going and buying some other things that are just Wi-Fi enabled there's a lot of advantages I think you'll find to the hub one of them is distance and um, you can buy repeaters and things like that so it is a pretty good investment um, and then you have the, the home automation platform that is connected to the hub and we'll, you'll be able to see the switch with that. And so of course what I've done to give me payback for the switch is I, I have a timer that I run and I run that at 4 o'clock in the morning. So um, you can kind of see there at 4 a.m. The load kicks on and I'm and I'm pulling uh, to heat the spa run the pumps and everything I'm running for a period of four hours and then the, the rates go up at 8 so I turn it off so I just run this for four hours every day and it consumes a little bit over four uh, kilowatts per day uh, so let's go back to what the potential savings could be um, I, I've got a window of time where I can run roughly from uh, 10 o'clock or p.m. to or 8 o'clock p.m. to or 10 o'clock p.m. I believe it is to 8 in the morning and so what I do is I run the spa then run my pump pumps then versus 61 cents at at prime time so it's costing me about 64 cents a day to run the spa versus 200 or $2.44 a day, which is a huge difference in operating costs. Um, so I think the spa will, the uh, switch, the cost of the switch will pay for itself and the home automation in a very short amount of time.